Buenos dias and welcome back to another video, my friends. I hope you're staying healthy and I hope you're staying safe wherever you are in the world. Today on the channel, I am in beautiful, exquisite, magnificent, and cold Joshua Tree, California. And we're shooting stars on the Canon EOS R6. All right, so some tips for getting up and running and shooting a quick session of astrophotography. You're gonna need a camera with preferably bulb mode, but it doesn't have to have bulb mode. As long as it can shoot up to about a 30 second shutter, 25 second shutter, that'd be preferable. Have a lens that's a little bit wider on the 35 to 20 or 15 millimeter side. Um, F2.8 is preferable, but 3.5 would work. Just open it wide open. And then finally, a sturdy tripod. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is setting focus. So typically when you're shooting stars, you want to set your focus on one of the brightest stars um, that's out there. And you can select any star that you'd like. And then if you have focus peaking or you have some type of um, focusing uh, magnification, that would be preferable. But the idea is to find a star and then try to get focus on that star based on your uh, focus peaking and or your focus guides. Now, you can zoom in, as I'm doing here, and try to find a star like this. So what you wanna do is try to get it to where it's pinpoint, the smallest you can get it, and you'll know that you're pretty much in focus, just like you see there on the screen. So that's what you want. Go ahead and set it, and then you can turn your camera on your subject or point it in any direction. I would leave it in manual focus and lock it in and just leave the lens set. Don't, don't bump it. Uh, again, you can always reset, but that's the easiest way once you're already out in the field and um, you're trying to set up focus for the stars uh, that are pretty much gonna be shot um, at infinity. All right, let's talk about some settings on the back of the screen. First of all, open up your aperture to f2.8 or the widest that your lens goes to. Then go ahead and set your ISO to 3200 as a starter. Uh, I would go up to 6400 um, and try to keep it in that ballpark, but you can um, experiment and play around with this number. But I would start with 3200 and maybe double it after that. And then what you want to do is, um, what I'm going to use is the 500 rule, just as a general rule on how many seconds you want to keep your shutter open for. So take 500 and divide it by the length of your lens. So in this case, I am shooting on a 20 millimeter lens. So if you take 500 and divide it by 20, you get 25 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and fire this off. I have a two second timer delay, and I'm using the shutter on the back of the LCD screen to fire off my shot. So we'll leave it open for 25 seconds and see what we got. All right, we're a couple seconds away, and we'll stop it right there. Okay, so the sun is starting to come up a little bit, so we're actually losing the stars. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fire this off again, and I'm gonna drop this down to about 12 seconds. Now, I will say this, I could have lowered my ISO as well, and I will show you a shot that I took earlier if this one doesn't turn out. Yeah, so let's check out this shot. So here's a shot that I shot earlier this morning, and I just think it turned out marvelous, and I'm really digging it. So definitely got started late here today, but some of the shots that I was able to do afterwards uh, Frank, Nuclear Frank, joined me out here today. Say, hey, Frank. What's up, what's up? Yeah, Frank's in the house, and he was helping me hold this very torch. And we got a couple shots, not so much with the torch lit up into the sky because there was already too much uh, light coming in from the sun rising. I thought the silhouette shot came out really cool. And in the future, that is another tip, is get out to your location early, scout your location, and have patience. I was rushing around a little bit. Now I have done this before here at this very park. However, 
just time got the best of me here. So they have closed the park a little bit in certain areas. So it took us a little longer to get down the trail as well, but no excuses here. We should have gotten here a little bit earlier. And I suggest that you do the same wherever you're gonna go shoot, have time, be patient, and just enjoy yourself while you're out there.